Nottingham canoeist Campbell Walsh has been through three Olympic cycles, a silver medal in Athens his crowning glory. But all good things come to an end, and for Campbell, narrowly missing out on going to London was a sign. Knowing that that was going to be coming for a number of years, it was quite scary because ever since I was a child, I've not had a, a lifelong career ambition. My lifelong ambitions were based around canoe slalom, pretty much exclusively. Terrifying. When what you know is a predictable routine of train and compete, train and compete. That's why the Institute of Sport provides a friend. They have a real love of what they do, and that's sometimes difficult to think, OK, if I'm going to focus on something else, will I ever find the passion and enthusiasm that I've had for what I've been doing for the last 20 years? And so that in itself is, is a journey that you really have to just support the athlete through. But it is so different, going from the massive adrenaline rush of this to the rather more mundane realities of office life. How on earth to handle that? If an athlete enjoys that, and if an athlete really, really thrives on the, the adrenaline part of the sport that they do, then there's nothing to stop them utilising that as a, as a search criteria for the job that they do next. He asked me, what are you good at? And I said canoeing, and that was about it. But, you know, we sit down for a few meetings, and when we discover there's, there's things like time management that I was particularly strong at, analytical skills that can be transferred to business. With all that in mind, Campbell is taking all his sporting instincts to a placement at Goldman Sachs, learning investment banking. Even so, he can't quite resist the call of the water. I'm definitely always going to own a kayak, without a doubt. I mean, I still have two and I can't even, I can't even put myself down to one. I'm kind of still getting used to the idea that I'll only have one boat. As for the advisor, well, he's got plenty of clients. Sporting retirement's got by a third after an Olympics. That's a lot of stars learning to be ordinary again.